coming off of a weekend week against eighth ranked Georgia College. Uh, first, just your thoughts on your team's overall performance this weekend. Well, anytime you can win three baseball games on the weekend, you got to be extremely pleased. And so, obviously, I'm ecstatic that we won all three games. So, I thought it was a total team effort as far as how we played. I thought our kids had um, very good energy on our side all weekend long. Um, you know, and, you know, obviously, you know, game one today, you know, winning in a walk-off fashion does give you a boost going into the third game. Yeah, let's break down game one a bit. At the end, trailing, um, you put together a ninth inning rally. How were you guys able to come away with the victory? Well, I just think that, you know, they had Chromes in the game, and Chromes came in. I'm trying to remember when he came in, but I know he'd been in for a while. Um, and I'm sure that's, I mean, I have to go back and look at all the stats, but they were extending him, you know, quite a bit. And, you know, when he first came in, his stuff was really electric. And, you know, as time went on, you know, you could see it starting to get a little, you know, it was coming back a notch, you know, for us. And we were fortunate enough to get the barrel to a couple of balls. You know, they did make a big mistake that did help us, you know, in that inning. You know, but, you know, the ball bounced our way. Game two kind of got off to a interesting start, but then the pitching seemed to really settle down. Jake Mosey came in and gave some good innings. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, game game one and game two were identical. We did not get a good start from either one of our starting pitchers, you know, at all. You know, we won both of those games because Connor Cox came in in game one and did a phenomenal job and put up zeros that gave us a chance to score a run, score another run, and so forth. And Jake Mayhew did the exact same thing, you know, in game two because we did not get a good start from from Jacob Morrison either. You know, so it was those guys who came in are the reason that kept us in the ball game. You know, and then of course River comes in and through the last four innings um, for us, you know, in the second game, which was. You know, they didn't do anything, you know, getting up any runs there. Coming throughout the series, late games and late innings and two outs, you guys are still able to produce offensively. What does that say about you? Well, we're really trying really hard at practice to get on top of the baseball. We're trying to, you know, really compete with two strikes. Um, you know, sometimes it doesn't show up in the box score with the strikeouts, but we're really putting an emphasis on trying to compete you know, and not give in and force the other team to have to do something, you know, with the baseball, you know, have to catch it and throw it to first. And so we're, we're really working on it. And we've been fortunate, you know, in the last, you know, few games where we've been able to put some balls in play and they're finding some holes for us. You know, so, I mean, I, I, I tip my hat to the kids because they're the ones who are putting all the effort in. You know, they're coming early and staying late and they're working on their game. They, they want to be successful. And so they're putting in a lot of extra time to become successful. Uh, from the end of game one, uh, game two, how much of a spark did that walk-off hit give you to where you guys have been? Um, continue that offensive uh, efficiency and run scoring into the first few innings of the second game. Well, I, in these double headers, if you can walk somebody off, if, it depends on which side you're on right. on of it. You know, if you're on the winning side of it, it's a huge boost because you're going to turn around in 30 minutes and play another game, and the other team's still sitting over there going, "What just happened? What just what just happened to us?" You know, we had a lead, and then we lost it. It was tied, and then we lost it. And now we're we're sitting over here and we lost a game. So it's it's a huge momentum swing, and that's. You know, before COVID, we played Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know, if you lost on a walk-off, then you got on the bus, you went home, and you regrouped, and, there, you know, you came back and played another day. You know, the way we're doing it this year with all these double headers, I mean, we're out here from, you know, what time were we on the field today? The kids were on the field at 10.15 today, you know, for a pregame stretch. You know, and it's, you know, 8.15 right now. So you can do the math. You know, it's a, it's a marathon day. You know, and so if you're on the on the wrong end of a close game like that, where you think you've got something won and then it gets snatched away from you at the last moment, it's devastating mentally to you. It's very hard to come back from it. You know, and of course, they did a great job on their side. They scored two runs in the first inning just like that, you know, on us. And then we bounced back and we scored three. And then guess what? We give it right back to them, you know, and we're playing the yo-yo game, you know, with them and finally, you know, we got a zero, I think, in the third inning, you know, and then we got some zeros from Mayhew, and that's what 
you know, when when all the scoring stopped, you know, for us. You know, so that was, you know, that's what I just told the guys. It's very important that pitching-wise that we set a tone, you know, and be able to locate because, George, yeah, we beat Georgia College three times to this weekend. That's a very good baseball team over there. If you know anything about baseball and you can watch players, they are very good. They got some really good players that play on that side over there. And they're going to be in it at, in the end. You know, and you can't pitch to those guys in the middle of the plate. If you throw it in the middle of the plate to them, they will pound it. And, and you saw that. When we threw it in the middle of the plate, you can ask Darren Bowen or Jacob Morrison because there were some rockets that were hit off of them. You know, when they were in the middle of the plate. I mean, they are very talented, Georgia College is. I mean, we're just very fortunate that we could stop it and get our offense going, you know, and we had some guys come in out of the pen and did their job, and then we got the ball to River, you know. You know, and that's, you know, that's a good formula for us. And how you need to have a guy, you know, walk off in one game. Absolutely. I mean, he gets the – I mean, my gosh, I mean, he gets the, the, the game-winning hit for us in, in the first game. You know, he's out there doing it for four innings. You know, I was a little concerned with bringing him in for four, you know, but we decided to go for it, you know. And then, you know, he hits a home run in the in the ninth, or the bottom of the eighth. Bottom of the eighth, he hits a two-run homer to kind of start it all to give us some more breathing room because in a two-run game, you know, it's a, you're a bloop and a blast. You know, you're an error and friggin' and a homer, and it's you're all tied up. You know, so that was huge. That kind of let out all the the air out of the balloon right there, so to speak. And so, you know, then we had tacked on, you know, a few more runs, you know, at that point. Coach, thanks for your time. Congratulations. Yep. Thank you.